the eProcessing Network EPN Sync installation tutorial. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go to eProcessingNetwork.com, click on the account login, and select Merchant Login. Put in your username and password. Once your account is open, then select from the Choose One drop down menu EPN Sync. Then click Go. This brings you to the download information page. First thing on the list is the video that you're viewing now, and then the installation guide and documentation, a PDF version of this information. Number three on our list is the download. There is a warning here about your user account controls for your Windows machine. You need to have these enabled. If you need more information on that, click the here link in blue. Once you've completed that information and set your UAC, select I have read the UAC instructions above and then click on the EPN Sync download button. Once you've selected the download button, you want to save the file. Do not run it. Put it on your desktop so you'll have access to it after the download. As you can tell, we now have an EPN Sync icon for our installation. Double click that icon to start the installation. Next, you'll get the warning about the UAC controls. Go ahead and click on Yes. Then click install. Microsoft Visual C, we need that in order to run sync, so we're going to click on yes. Now it starts the installation for sync. Go ahead and click on next. Next again. This is how your computer is set up. So Install Wizard is pulling this information from your computer. If you don't have that set, it's not necessary. Um, if you did establish it when you set up your Windows machine, it, information will be there. Go ahead and click on Next. We want to leave the destination folder where it is suggested. Click on Next and then Install. finish. Next we have the EPN sync configuration window. Here you're going to input your EPN account number. This is the same account number that you log into our website with and then name your terminal. For the example Sally's desk or I've used front desk for my example. Transactions sync at. This is the time that you want EPN sync to sync up with your QuickBooks database. So for example my business closes at 6 p.m. I want it to happen overnight so all my transactions are synced up in the morning. Next you'll choose the QuickBooks company file. You want to click on browse. For example, this is located in your Intuit QuickBooks company files and then I have my company file already listed there. Now depending on how you establish your QuickBooks your file may be in a different location. Go ahead then and click on save. And then EPN Sync starts to subscribe to your QuickBooks information. So if you have multiple company files, you may see this pop up where you have to select your company file. If you just have one, you can it'll more than likely just open that QuickBooks file. But because I have two listed, I'm gonna go ahead and tell QuickBooks to open that company file. And now we get the application with no certificate window. So the only thing that we have to do is select yes, always allow, even if QuickBooks is not running, and then click on continue. So as we notice here, we're gonna go ahead and select yes, QuickBooks wants to make sure you wanna do this. Go ahead and click on done. So we've completed step one and two. We've selected yes to allow it and continue. So now we're on step three. Go ahead and continue the installation. Quick Sales Receipts Setup Wizard. Here, the Quick Sales Receipts require the creation of certain QuickBooks items called EPN items, so the EPN Sync is able to properly record the transactions into QuickBooks. Go ahead and click on Continue with the Setup. Sales Tax Vendor. 
You want to select from a list of vendors in your company file. Please ensure that this vendor is a tax vendor, such as your state. EPNC cannot verify the chosen vendor is a sales tax vendor or not. If SYNC is unable to create the tax item, it will be most likely because that the vendor selected is not a tax vendor. EPN sales tax items will be assigned to this vendor. So I don't have one listed here, so I'm going to go ahead and just create mine, State of Texas. Then click on the Create Tax Vendor. And then select Attempt to Sales Tax Vendor. And then it has created my information for me with my sales tax vendor and my income accounts. All we have to do now is go ahead and click on continue. Everything went successful. Go ahead and click OK. And then we're going to click on done. Next is prepare for download transaction. This is the first time sync. You want to select a date to sync your EPN account's history or just leave today's date. So your sync will start according to the time that we've set up in the configuration. There is a menu option here to go back on the calendar so you can get all your history on your account. If you've already updated your QuickBooks, you just want to leave today's date and it'll start syncing today. Once you've made that choice, go ahead and then click on Start Sync Now. Now this notice is to let you know this is the first time you're doing this. You will not have the option to download your history again. So you want to make sure that if you want that history, you need to make that choice now. Go ahead, click OK. Now that your installation is complete, you'll notice an icon appears down at the bottom of the screen. By placing your mouse over the icon, a little window is going to pop up and tell you that the EPN Sync Runtime is set to 7 p.m. which is what I established in my configuration window. And that's it for the installation. So Sync is running in the background and at 7 o'clock this evening it will update my QuickBooks. If I have existing customers it will add the invoices to the ones that match on my e-processing network account. If the customer does not exist it will create that customer and apply the invoice to them.